Hello and welcome. This is Erica Glessing and you are joining me for eight minutes of daily inspiration on the Erica Glessing Show. I am so excited today. My next guest is a number one best-selling author internationally. She's gorgeous inside and out. She can sing like a bird. She has a radio program. I don't even know where to start with this woman. She has the most beautiful red hair of most. I don't know if any of my other guests have red hair. So <laughs> the Erica Glessing Show is so delighted to welcome Keisha Clark. Hi, Keisha. Wow. I Hello. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to record that little sound bite. And, uh, <laughs> um, can you sing on demand? Can you do a little, a little tiny? A oh, my gosh. A tiny uh, global, just like a little. Oh, hello. a little snippet of Global yes, Embrace? Global. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Um, Global embrace to expansion. What if you are the miracle? You are the magic. How's that? <laughs> you know, a little bit of Keisha is definitely not enough. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to have to meme that. I'm going to borrow that. But I'm just going to steal it outright. <laughs> Yeah, we had to warn you guys, we go back a ways. <laughs> we love to laugh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this happens every time we're on weekend show, so, doesn't it? it does. Oh my gosh, and last time we talked about sex, didn't we? We talked about sex, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. dead people. Yeah, <laughs> but not, not having not sex together. with dead people, no. Not together, it was really, it was really like... <laughs> I don't think that that's inspiring, so we won't go there. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, when um, I'm a gifted medium, so that was the dead people thing, and um, the <laughs> sex thing is Keisha wrote about it in one of my books, so um, hmm. there's a little bit of actual background on that, but... <laughs> Before we just go too crazy, why don't you tell us about your radio show, Living Beyond Linear? What's that about? What do you guys do? Well, I am challenging you folks, listeners, everybody, to stop asking your life to make sense on the show, Living Beyond Linear. It's all about going beyond what we can explain and what's logical and all of the formulas and all of the structures um, to actually getting to the things that, that really most often don't make sense. But then they do actually offer us more of us, more information, more awareness. It's that space that we actually find what empowers us to really be creating and living and loving our lives as us. You know, I actually feel like that's the biggest discipline um, when it comes to people who um, do the work that, you know, I do in the world with publishing books and teaching classes and hosting events is this moment where you're just so pinned down on the linear result of one action. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, it's really a contractive way of being in the world because sometimes it's just about doing things that you don't feel comfortable doing. Right. And that too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the song. How did you come up with that? Tell everyone the name of it and how they can find wow. it. The song is called Global Embrace. And um, you can actually find it at cdbaby.com. You can just look up Keisha Clark or you can look up Global Embrace. And there's also a, a SoundCloud preview. It's a full preview of the song, a preview of the full song. Um, and I invite folks to find it on SoundCloud too. Um, it's It came to me... Um, over the course of a few months of, of playing with some classes in the body of work called Access Consciousness, and also having done just, you know, years of my own sort of journeying into more of me and more of who the heck am I and what the heck am I doing here? And um, it's a song that, I, the way I explain it is it's a song that sang itself into me. And that's really how it showed up. And the way that the song is now sounding when you go to listen to it, that's how it sounded when it showed up to me. And it that's was so cool. Amazing. Have you have more songs coming? Are you doing more songs? There's, there is more music um, that's dancing around and singing into my universe. And so I'm really excited about that. And uh, it's not, 
like it seems to be about like singing for the absolute joy of singing you know it's it's not a I do see like the possibility of a production and I don't have a clue in this 10 seconds you know what exactly that's going to look like um, but the energy that I get when I'm just being with the music as it's playing into my world um it's really magic it's really Aww. magical so well I just have to ask I feel like I want to ask you a difficult question okay if I'm just really stuck in the linear mm -hmm. um, what can I do to shift that into more space oh that's a great question <laughs> well the first the when I find myself tied down in that I'm looking for the linear logical thing that makes sense for me to find the answer by um, what I have started doing is if I wasn't asking this to make sense, what else could I know? If I wasn't asking this to make sense, what else could I know? Mm -hmm. That's a really generative question. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. We, you know, our knowing, I, I like to say knowing with a capital K it's the mm -hmm. beyond cognitive knowing. Like we, we have so much more available to us than we choose to believe <laughs> in most cases. Right. And when we let go of that, it has to come through some structure, it has to show up a certain way, or we have to meet a certain quota, deadline, satisfaction, ratio, whatever. Um, if we can just let go of that, we can very quickly, more often than not, get in touch with or tap into more of us and more of what we actually do know and more of what we are aware of. And that is something that it just reiterates itself for me time and time again, <laughs> because I so, I can so quickly go to that place of I'm looking for an answer or I'm trying to do something in a way that makes sense. And, and yet, like, how often can we really make sense of our lives? And <laughs> how often can we make it make sense to anyone else? You know, and well, that's I love where, that. Yeah, yeah, let's just take the pressure off. You do, yeah. Your life doesn't have to make sense, people. Don't what you if it does better not, now? Yeah. Wow. What if that is just not required? Wow. You know? I love it. Well, um, Keisha's book, I'm Having It, is available. <laughs> um, it's uh, available on Amazon, everywhere books yeah. are sold online. I'm Having It. And uh, Keisha's song, uh, Global Embrace, is available at CD Baby. So go buy it and say <laughs> to Keisha how much you appreciate her, just like I do. And um, where else can we find you? What's your uh, URL we can find you? Um, well, there's, come, come see my host page is probably going to be where you'll find the most about me at this moment. Um, and that is at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Um, and you can look for my host page, Keisha Clark, and click on that and you'll see a little bit more about me. You can also come play with me on Facebook at Living Beyond Linear. And um, there's another little gem of a book that we played with together, The Power of Releasing Judgment. Oh, I forgot um, that about I that. I definitely there want people to books? come find. <laughs> I know. I knew there was two books and I wasn't yeah. getting the other one in my head. So yeah. The Power of Releasing Judgment, I will have them both at ericaglessing.com com slash uh, Keisha dash Clark. So thank you nice. so much for coming, sweetheart. Thank that was you. Awesome. Thank you, Erica. Thank you for being <laughs> me and and all that you be in the world. Mm. <laughs>